We've chosen this location because of the style of circuit that's actually here. If you have a look at it, there's a lot of corners with elevation change on it, which emulates Pikes Peak. There's also a lot of short, straight sections into heavy hairpin corners, which means that there's short burst speed into heavy braking zones, which would build brake temperature, which you've then got to try and dissipate on the way out. So it's really a good test for the powertrain and chassis of this vehicle. So then we can really understand and predict what we're going to end up with when we get to Pikes Peak. We started off with three to four lap stints. When we got thermal temperatures that were good, we then went for 12 lap stints that were effectively would be a full pull or a full run of the Pikes Peak Raceway. From there, we started tweaking with tire pressures and really found a perfect balance in the chassis to whereas we're turning time some four to five seconds faster than what I expected. A successful test for us would be going away knowing an estimated time that we can go up Pikes Peak knowing for sure what chassis setups we're going to use on the car and having Reese comfortable in the car so he has no fears going ahead into what is a very scary race to enter. The test weekend proved vital for both Bentley and Reese Millen, both camps working closely together to tackle everyday motorsport issues. This weekend there is a collaboration between motorsport and the road car engineers, so we're using their expertise from powertrain, from chassis and electrical in order to support us and optimise this car as far as we can, along with the motorsport and know-how of chassis setup really to, to get the best car we can get. It's been great for me as a driver to witness the dynamics from my team having a lot of experience on Pikes Peak but knowing nothing about this vehicle and them gelling together and learning everything that we can about the vehicle and applying it to this course that represents a lot of what Pikes Peak structure is about. So we bring the knowledge of the race they bring the knowledge of the car and from both sides we're working together to maximise the effort and so far it's just been on point. For the perennial Pikes Peak racer, Millen is ready to take on his next challenge and with 14 records and two overall wins, the Bentayga is in good hands. The biggest adrenaline rush is sitting on that start line on race day. You've got one shot to do the full distance start line is 9,500 feet. Your finish line, 14,112. 156 corners with 13 of those being first gear hairpins. This is a burst speed style of course. It's not a fast flowing Formula One style course. And the attributes of the torque of what this engine has and this chassis, how well it's working in the last two days here, I think it's gonna impress a lot of people on the mountain.